there we go hey guys what's up um i am heading very soon to a tattoo appointment so you guys were asking yesterday whether or not i was getting a tattoo and my plan was no i wasn't but um i happen to ha happen to pass by the tattoo shop that i normally use when I'm out here in Arizona and I'm getting one. So I'm getting a small one. I'm getting a semicolon um, for the semicolon project, which brings awareness to mental illness. And I'm getting this one right here. That was a gift from my daughter, like mother, like daughter fix. There's like three blowouts and a bunch of places where the ink didn't stay. Or This guy is amazing. This guy actually trained um, it's Ink for Life. If you guys are in Arizona, it's on the Apache Trail, Ink for Life. He is absolutely amazing, and he studied abroad in Germany, studied art and everything like that. So I'm just going to do, I'm not even wearing, going to wear face makeup today. Me girl, yay! You guys are amazing. Um, it was so great talking to you guys yesterday. And I was so mad because I tried to upload my Periscope. I have it sent uh, where it's supposed to go to my camera roll. For some reason, it didn't. I don't know why. And then when I tried to download it through uh, QuickTime, it only caught seven minutes of it. But I was like, I was talking to these guys for like 40 minutes. I don't understand why. But I'm not going to do a full face today. I know I said that yesterday and I continue to do a full face, but I'm not. Today I'm going super natural. Like I said, I'm not even going to wear face makeup. I want to try to get some sun while I'm out here. Um, normally Chris doesn't get sun, but I could use just a tad, don't you think? Like, So I hope this lighting's okay. I'm right next to a window, so if it's not... I apologize it's kind of the best that I can do and I wish I was a little taller <laughs> but I'm not so we're just gonna start off with pore filler I, I always use pore filler regardless if I am wearing makeup or not because I have some pores and this is the NYX pore filler I got me some whores Lady Gaga fan hello um I can see what you guys write I was mentioning this yesterday I can see what you guys are writing I just can't see thoughts on farting in a relationship yeah you're funny yeah go for it if it's a relationship and you guys love each other, then we all fart, right? That's my thoughts. <laughs> so, um, we all do it. Pink Nini, do you, oh, okay. I can see, thank you. I can see, I can see that now. Pink Nini, is it Pink Nini or Pink Nene? I, I hate mispronouncing people's screen names. It drives me crazy, so let me know. So this is just the pore filler. And like I said, I'm getting tattooed. I'm gonna um, vlog that also, uh, the whole process. But I just figured I gotta do my makeup quick. So I will do it on here. No face makeup whatsoever, no base. I'm gonna put a little bit of concealer on. Oh, I love you too, doll. Sending love, you're so cute. Those little yellow um, hearts coming from you. You're so sweet. Does anybody know on Periscope, how do you change the color of your hearts? Can you? Can you change the color of your hearts or no? I don't know. I, I, I kind of don't know all the ins and outs of this Periscope stuff, so. Um, I am using this Physician's Formula. It's in light, but this is Physician's Formula. The other side is a uh, corrector color. It's like a yellow, so it's yellow light. I'm just using this under my, this mirror you guys saw yesterday. I can't stand it. I'm just using this under my eyes. And this is a very light Physician's Formula. This is a very light concealer. So if you guys have like really like panda eyes, this is probably not something for you guys. But I don't. I don't have lots of panda eyes. I'm just going to blend it out with this Morphe brush right here. There's no name on it, but I'm just going to blend it out. I don't, have a, I don't have a whole lot of circles or anything like that. Do you guys ever like do your makeup and you get like schmutz in the middle of your eye or in the corner of your eye while you're doing it? I hate that. Drives me crazy. I got some schmutz right here. <gasps> oh my, come on. I wish I could put you guys a little lower, but I can't. This is the only shelf that I have because I noticed yesterday the lighting was kind of off. So, but that's it. It's blended in. Um, I was able to... I think link it to Twitter. Did anybody watch it on Twitter? It was really funny because, like I said, I was trying to, yesterday's broadcast, I was trying to download it, and I used QuickTime. There's you can there's so many videos that you can watch on YouTube on how to do it, but I used QuickTime, and it started off fine. I was talking to you guys and everything, and then next thing I know, it went to my full face of makeup, and I was basically saying goodbye. I was like, where's the middle? Where's the rest of it? But the weird thing about it was is that all your comments were still coming up from, like, you know previously so I don't know I think they're random when you start viewing it gives each person a color oh you're picking pink, pink today yay pink's my favorite color I love pink you know what it, it's funny we got Valentine's Day coming up as you all you all I'm sure know whether you're single or 
not single. Um, and I love Valentine's Day. It's one of my favorite holidays, and I'll tell you why. Most people hate it. Even when I'm single, I love it because I love going into the store and the colors, pink, white, red, like all the decorations. I just, I love hearts. I love lips. As you guys, if you guys watch my YouTube channel, you know that I'm all about, you know, the lips. That's kind of my branding thing. I love it. I love the decorations. So I don't know. I think that's really cool. Now I'm just going to take a little of this Bye Bye, not Bye Bye Under Eye, Bye Bye Pores by It Cosmetics. It's my favorite loose powder ever. And I'm just going to use a little powder. When you guys get older, don't bake your makeup. Uh, it's you use as little powder as possible to set because when you get lines in your eyes like me when you get old when you get old when you get old and wrinkly under your eyes you want as little powder as possible otherwise it just creases am i getting a sty oh my god it looks like i'm getting a sty i hope it's not from these contacts you want as little powder as possible so just baking stuff Rosa renee What's up, darling? The more powder products you put on your face, the more you're you're gonna accentuate your lines. If I could get away with zero powder, I would, but you know, I like to set my concealer. So I just take a teeny, teeny brush, teeny bit of powder, and put it underneath my eyes. What is everybody doing today? What's the temperature where you guys are at? Cause it's 90, We're, we have record temperatures here in Arizona. And for those who don't know, I'm originally from Connecticut, but I'm vacationing in Arizona. So I am going to now, yeah, it's like, it, so it's gonna be 90. I'm gonna use the Bare Minerals BB Cream Shadow stuff. I use this for, as an eye base. Love it, absolutely love it. It sets like no one's business and does not budge. So I don't use it as a cream eyeshadow. This is in soft linen. Take us along with you to your appointment. I'm actually going to, I'm not gonna periscope it only because I don't, I would. I'm not gonna periscope it only because I do not have a tripod. I didn't bring a tripod, like I meant to, and I had it next to all my luggage and I didn't bring it. I am going to vlog it, so it will be up um, at some point. So on my YouTube channel, which if you guys don't know, it's Christine Lee 314, all about beauty with Christine, which you know, I'm thinking of changing that name. My man just, is just another way to make you spend more money. As far as Valentine's Day, I know a lot of people feel that way. I like it for the decorations. And you know what? If you're single, guys, buy yourself something. Treat yourself. You deserve it. You know? It's not all about having somebody on Valentine's Day. If you're alone on Valentine's Day or you're single, it's about love. Love yourself. Love yourself and buy yourself something. Treat yourself to something because you guys all deserve it. But yes, this is the video will be up of the tattoo appointment. You guys, I have been vlogging. Um, I just wanted to tell, I don't know if I mentioned this yesterday. This is the first time I've done like daily vlogs on my channel. Like I do car vlogs, let's talk series, um, that kind of stuff. I have no idea why I cannot do the eyebrows and fill them in. I watch YouTube videos and it's hard. Eyebrows are hard. I do, I'm very meticulous about my brows. I'm either totally meticulous about my brows. You will see. I spend the most, it's 70 here in Florida. Oh yeah. There you go. That's, that's a good temperature. It's quite hot here. Like I said, 90 in Arizona. I was like, normally we sit out on the porch and we have coffee. And I was like, I gotta go inside. It's too damn hot. But 70 is perfect weather. They come out too thick. Yeah, it, you know, and especially if you have naturally thick eyebrows. Like, see, my eyebrows aren't that bad. They're not, you know, they're not that sparse or anything like that. But I either go full on glam brow or I go super natural with just this L'Oreal um, brow plumper is my ultimate favorite. And I think that's what I'm going to use today. I can't decide between that or the Anastasia um, stick. But so that's my base, the bare min minerals. I think that stuff dries and it makes a perfect, perfect base. Since I'm not doing face makeup, I am going to go very natural. So what I'm going to do is my Makeup Geek palette again. And I'm going to go into what is this shade right here? I think it's this Beaches and Cream. Yeah, Beaches and Cream. It's like, it's such a good tri um, all over base color. Um, if you're super, super, super duper pale, you could even get away with it as a transition color. But I'm just going to apply that on my lid, even though I really don't need to because the Bare Minerals 5-in-1, it turns from like a cream to a powder. So, but is Sarita in the house? I think I just saw Sarita. Yeah, she is. Hello, darling. I was just telling everybody I love you too. I was just telling everybody that I periscoped yesterday, a whole tutorial or get ready with me or whatever. And my look I thought came out pretty banging and I couldn't upload the periscope. I was so mad, but as is life. So I'm trying it again. Cause this is supposed to go to my camera roll. If it doesn't, I don't know what I'm gonna do. But, um, so just beaches and cream over this just to kind of set. Hi, my lovely. You are so lovely. I love Sarita. She's awesome. 
Oh my god. We need to get together. I, You know what? You know, one thing I hate about YouTube life is that you have so many friends that don't live anywhere near you. I hate it. Sarita's in Minnesota. Minnesota. And Twyla, who was on yesterday, like Mother Like Daughter, I hope you guys checked out her channel. Because she really is awesome. She just hit a thousand K. And you guys were all congratulating her. You're so sweet. And, um, you know, you meet so many people through YouTube and Facebook and all this other stuff. And they all, I love Sarita. You're so funny. <laughs> She loves herself. You're hysterical. I love you too. I just can't type it out right now. So thank you for typing that out to me. Hi from Sarita. LOL. Okay, so when you get into like the Facebook, YouTube, the YouTube, Facebook slash life, whatever. I don't know if you guys are going to really be able to see this. Um, you make so many friends and what stinks about it is that they all live so far away. Okay, let's see. I'm going to go in with a, I'm going to go in with this matte rust kind of color. What is this? Cocoa, be Cocoa Bear. No, I'm not doing, per I'm not doing liner at all today. I'm going for, I was telling them I'm going for a tattoo apartment, a tattoo apartment, a tattoo appointment. So this is Cocoa Bear. I didn't bring purple liner with me actually. You know what I was going to do? is I was going to just do like taupe eyes. So Coco Bear is going into the crease with my Sigma E40 brush. And I hate to be that, oh, my Sigma E40 brush. Like, I don't know, you guys. This is a really good brush, I'm not gonna lie. But I am not a Sigma, Sigma affiliate or anything like that. So I don't push Sigma, but I really do love this blending brush. I'm just gonna put this in the crease and blend it up. But yeah, so I'm getting that tattoo. And I think that's my brother's here from Flagstaff. He lives in Flag, which he had jeans on when he got here. And I was like, what are you doing with jeans on? And he's like, it's 30 degrees in Flag. I'm like, oh Jesus. I'm like, that's almost as bad as Connecticut. So, when you guys, oh, Sarita, you're one, you, if you're still on, you're one to tell me. How do you guys like advertise your Periscope? I know they go to Twitter, but how do you, do you advertise them in any special way? I'm just curious, because I love talking to you guys. Like, I absolutely love it. So I'm bringing it in a little bit into the inner corner here. Okay, you guys can see what I'm doing. And then I have to bring my crease up further because I have hooded eyes. Who here is down with tattoos? Anybody got tattoos? And if you are, what tattoo do you have? And where is it? I want to know. It says I have seven watchers, but nobody's speaking. So with my luck, this periscope is already, again, not working. Anybody? Oh, I'm still getting hearts. Okay, cool. Like, that's cool. I mean, I don't want to waste my time or waste your time or whatever if nobody's actually watching. Tattoos, guys? Anybody tattoo lovers out there? Yes, no, maybe. Yes, no, maybe so piercing people you know what i found is that my pierce i have one inch holes and i just found out the other day like my ears are i never had to stretch my ears they stretched on their own which is really really crazy but i just have stretchy ears i guess and they i'm just gonna take a clean brush and just blend out this cocoa bear they stretched on their own because everyone's like oh how long did it take you to stretch your ears and i'm like um not long at all because <laughs> i would it was 35 here oh god you know what like i said i'm from connecticut and it's like in the 20s there now but i said by the time i get back it's gonna be like for february 19th to me march is my birthday month that's when spring starts everyone's like no march is still winter no i'm sorry as far as chris is concerned march when i, I better bring this weather back home with me that's all i know or i'm gonna be really upset at that groundhog who said you know we weren't getting any more winter okay so now i think i'm gonna go into i use that chartreuse color um uh, i think i'm gonna go gold go gold on the eyes so i am going to use this color what color is this i always dig my nails into this i'm talking to you oh okay yay this is homecoming so this is what this looks like right here oh to see now the sun's gonna there it is look at that color like the sun's gonna shine in like no one's business and i'm just gonna put it on a flat shader brush yeah and the other thing i was noticing with the periscope is like it was clicking in and clicking out a lot of people were like oh i can't see you or you know anything like that and i was just like oh like they kept losing connection i don't know if it was me it was my phone or what but where is that color here it is so yeah i'm still getting used to periscope and i want to find a good reliable site that you can download to your broadcast to like or, or how to you are just getting my comments late i think oh okay it was really weird though because everything just i don't know the whole periscope thing nothing came in nothing came in correctly I'm sorry, wait, I'm holding the mirror right above. It just didn't work. It gave seven minutes out of all that time we talk. Yes, I want to download my broadcasts. Please tell me how to, because I have them supposedly saved to my camera reel 
and or my camera roll but when I go on there they're not there so I know that you can use QuickTime and record your screen as you play it use catch me I asked two questions at once before waiting for the answer I apologize I do that a lot okay so this is it guys this is my eye look right here like super super duper simple today and I'm just gonna throw on some mascara and that's it because I have to be at this place I don't I don't know what time it is right now either but I have to be at this place um, between 1 30 and 2 for the tattoo and I'm gonna do my brows I'm just gonna I'm gonna use the pencil I was gonna use the uh, what you call it the brow gel but I'm gonna use the pencil since I am going to be recording filming the tattoo and just so like I said you guys sign up at catch dot me okay I am so gonna do that now do you, now when you sign up Thank you so much. When you sign up at catch.me, can you download a broadcast you've already done? You will have all your broadcasts saved forever. Oh my God. Hello. That's awesome. So then I can re-upload, I can upload them to YouTube. No phone space consumed. Okay. So my question to you is when I sign up, like this one today, I'm not signed up yet. So if I go sign up after this, oh, okay. So if I go sign up after this, I can download today's. Is that what you're saying? All your broad cuts. Oh, after sign up. So this one doesn't count. See, that's what I'm saying. Like, can be accessed. Okay, well, that's awesome. That's good to know from now on. Um, I don't know what to do about this one here. So I am just using the Anastasia Brow Pencil. And I'm using it really, really light. Like, I'm just... Because someone else said there was a website that started with an S. I can't think. Or maybe it was Catch, Catch Me or whatever. Maybe I'm totally mistaken. But I thought it was... Because I'm going to start, whoop, mess that up. I'm going to start periscoping and, you know, being able to upload it to YouTube. So for people who don't catch my periscope, you know what I mean? We can, they can relive it. Because, you know, I don't like this. I just why I don't like Snapchat either. I'm not a Snapchat person. I don't like Snapchat because it doesn't last. Like, in periscope, 24 hours. Like, hello? That doesn't do me any good. I like my memories to last forever. But for the four of you people that are on, I'm gonna ask again, like, are you guys into tattoos? Are you not? Do you wanna get them? Are you afraid to get them? I'm just curious. I am an addict, obviously. If you guys have seen me at all, you've seen all my tattoos. I'm basically covered. Um, I now have to, I, get, I, mean, I have to work on the fill as far as my arms go. But other than that, my arms and my chest. I'm I'm done. I'm covered. I am okay. Chris, brows. Sisters, not twins. I have to always remember that because my brows drive me crazy. What's your favorite kind of tattoos? Like your favorite style? Mine's new school. Like anything that looks cartoony, that's my favorite. Like I love new school tattoos. For sure. There's a guy in um, Connecticut that does amazing, amazing, amazing work. He's expensive, but you know what? You get what you pay for. So as far as tattoos go, I know a lot of people are like, oh, I got my tattoo for, you know, whatever. He did it for $10. Like, okay, that's good. Yeah, no Snapchat here. I can't stand it. I don't like it. Why am I going to talk to um, somebody or, you know, talk to the screw? I'm going to waste my breath for people who can't, you know, who don't catch it in time. Like, I don't know. That's stupid. Like, if you want to follow me and you're interested in what I have to say, I, I don't want to put a time limit on what you know, how long you can watch it. I, I don't sit, because I don't sit there, even with Instagram and all that stuff, my notifications go off all the time and half the time I turn them off because it drives me insane. I'm like, I don't want to hear my phone beeping at me like 24 seven. It drives me nuts. Okay, so this brow is going to be rounder than this brow. These are brow troubles, guys. But like I said, I'm, I was going with a natural look anyway. So yeah, I'm not a huge Snapchat person. I really like Periscope because you can talk as long as you want. That's the other thing about Snapchat. I'm a talker, if you guys haven't figured that out yet. I'm a talker, if you guys haven't figured that out. <sighs> Two so far, well, one was an ad on and touch up and, a, and one was completely new. Yeah, I'm getting the semicolon for the semicolon project, if you guys are new or whatever. Um, it's for, you know, mental health awareness. I deal with a lot of mental health issues myself. And um, so it's, it's a project that's really near and dear to my heart. I think I'm gonna put a, put a little shimmer shimmer, uh, this color over here. It's kind of a, like a shimmery color on my brow bone, which I don't normally do. I don't normally do shimmer on my brow bone, but I don't know because because I'm going so natural. I think I'm going to do it. I'm gonna do it. I'm just gonna go for it. Um, but it's near and dear to my heart. I really, really, really love it. And so I just wanted to get it to show my, to support for people who, you know, um, you know, suicide awareness and mental illness 
awareness and all that other stuff because invisible illnesses are super hard people just don't seem to get it they don't seem to get invisible illnesses you know i get all the time like well you don't seem sick or you don't you know mm, yeah okay but live one day in my brain and uh i wouldn't wish it on anybody so i never judge a book by its cover because you never know what other people are going through it's really really hard so yeah, so when I talked to this guy, I went in that did my Arizona flag tattoo, and I asked him how much for the semicolon, and he's like, do you suffer from mental illness? And I said, uh, yeah, actually, I do. And he goes, free. I was like, no way. Cool. Like, So he's he's really, really cool. Like I said, it's Inked for Life in um, Apache Junction. Re his name's Dennis. Really, really great guy. Um, and then, like I said, he's going to fix this one here. Morphe Brushes just posted something. Good for Morphe Brushes. Let's see. Let's do a little blush. We'll put a little Luminoso. This is the only blush I brought, I brought, just because it's very natural. Pretty natural. I mean, it's got sparkle in it, but it's pretty natural. So we will just luminoso the face. Luminoso the face. The cheekbones. This is a Morphe brush, too. I like this angled brush. But And I go ham on my blush. Oh, funny story, you guys. If you guys were here with me yesterday for my, um, my, my makeup, I went ham on the highlighter, because Chris always goes ham on highlighter, because, you know, I want to be seen from Mars. And when I walked out, my mother was like, what's on the tip of your nose? I'm like, what are you talking about? Like, I'm thinking, oh my God, did I mess up my makeup? Like, what, what is going on? I just like spent 40 minutes on that and, you know, like, what's up? And then I realized, because it's on your cheeks too. Like, do you have to blot? And I was dying. I was like, no mom, it's called highlighter. And she's like, oh, I thought you were oily. So it was so funny. I was dying. I was like, no mom, it's a thing. It's called highlighter. And some people like to highlight so they can be seen from space. And that is me. So I'm not going to go too much on the blush just because I usually go ham. Hold on. I got to go a little more on this side. Um, because I want to get some sun. Although there's no, I'm sure there's no SPF in Luminoso, but I got a new highlighter blush, blush brush, guys, from Makeup Forever. This is their highlighter, small highlighter brush. It's called a 140. So we're going to take our Mary Luminizer, because this has to be my all-time favorite highlight. Like, look at that. I love it. I want to try Pearl from Becca, and there's another one I want to try. Well, the Jeffree Star ones that are coming out. Ooh, look at this brush. Ooh, I like it. I like it. Can you guys see that highlight? Ooh, I like it. I like it. Okay, here, mom. Here goes my nose. Oh, I love this brush for highlight. Holy moly. It's so cool. Can you see the tip of my nose? So I want to try pearl. I know everyone says opal, but pearl is like a, like a kind of like a stark white, and I'm so, so pale. But you know who also makes a really good highlighter? Really good and from the drugstore. I love the Mary Luminizer. I just love it. I will repurchase it for sure. But Wet n Wild. If you guys don't haven't seen it, it comes in a black compact and it, it's huge. And it's got like swirls in it. The one that I have is called, I want to say it's called Showtime or something. It's really good. It is really pearlescent. It's, it's amazing. A little over my temples, over the arch of my eyebrow. There we go. More on my nose. Cousin, there's never enough. Some of my Cupid's bow. Oh my god. I love these Makeup Forever brushes, guys. I'm sorry. Why am I apologizing? I just feel, I kind of feel bad because I feel like a lot of people who use like, like really expensive brushes, you know, people can't identify with them. I have, I, you know, there's lots of brushes, guys, that are just as good as high end. Um, I'm just a brush snob. That's all. I can't, I can't help it. I just am. I'm going to put a little on my chin, too. Highlight to the gods. I go to get tablet. Your tablet's about good. Okay. Oh, well, that's okay. Um, Like I said, Christine Lee 314 honey, if you're not already subscribed, I'm sorry. Everyone's usernames are different, and you will see the tattoo. So, the tattoo process. So, I will talk to you later. Okay, next I'm going to do... I did this yesterday. This is what I wore. This is called Lip Ink, you guys. LipInk.com. The one I was supposed to review, re re well, the one I was reviewing and reviewing, I wanted to put it up on YouTube, couldn't do it, was Hot Pink. And LipInk.com, this stuff, <laughs> I got this for free. This color to die for, okay? And this stuff is super liquidy. It smells horrible. It smells like alcohol. It's, it's, it's an awful, awful smell. 
but this stuff stays put like nobody's business. I tried, I had coconut oil last night, makeup remover wipes, coconut oil. I could not get this stuff off. It is, they call it semi-permanent, like, and, and they have a whole line of stuff. They have eyeliner, they have brow stuff, they have, oh my God. It's 20 bucks. You don't have to reapply. With most liquid lipsticks, no matter how great they are, you have to reapply. This stuff's super light. You know what? I think I'm going to go orange. I'm going to do an orange. Because I did like a... I have orange in my um, crease. The Coco Bear. So I think I'm going to do orange today. This stuff is liquidy, but it's... So it's more like a stain, but it doesn't bleed into your... If you have lines around your, your mouth and stuff like that, it doesn't bleed into it. And it stays like no one's business. It's kiss-proof. It's eat-proof. I had a salad yesterday went nowhere like and even on you know the part of your lip that like right here that changes you know it's a different it's a different texture and so you get the i call it the butthole lip when you you know put on a regular liquid lipstick not this stuff this stuff lipink.com you guys go check it out like i said it's 20 bucks but for as much as you get for your Kat Von D's or whatever and those yeah do those last a long time sure not as not as long as this stuff you can line with this, line your lips. Sorry, I can't talk while I do this. And so my lips are just, now they're just lined. Um, you let it dry and it's very thin. So it feels like there's nothing on. And then the top coat that they have for it is I have, I have this color right here. This is a matte top coat. It's a matte berry color. They usually, they have a glossy top coat and a matte top coat. And you can get, also get the top coats in different colors. This stuff is so slick, no stick whatsoever. It's not those sticky top coats that you put on. And this stuff lasts forever. Are you a makeup artist? I actually, um, I'm going to school right now. I do freelance. Um, I do proms, homecomings, that kind of stuff. I love it. Weddings, I tend to stay away from because it's stressful. Brides are stressful. And I don't usually go for really subtle makeup looks. Um, I'm doing it today just because I'm off to a tattoo uh, appointment. So the girls, the you know, homecomings and proms, <clears throat> love the glitter and everything like that. And that's what I'm all about. So I love to do that. So this is one coat of the orange, like one coat. Let me just hold you guys closer so you can see. But you know how liquid lipsticks, they, they end up coming off when you eat? Like I said, I had a salad the other day and this stuff didn't move. I, I was like, there's no way. I went to take it off, olive oil. I had to brush my lips with a toothbrush to get it off. They have a special solution, their own special solution to take it off. So I highly suggest, unless you want your, to abuse your lips, to get that. No, I'm not sponsored. And it will not move. It will not um, come off. So as soon as this dries, I'm just going to put some of that matte top coat. If you guys like glossy, you can put a glossy top coat on it. So all I have to do is carry this around in my pocket or my purse. Like, it's so, so simple. I'm going to be using the Their Real Mascara. Not my favorite mascara. I like it for separation, but it is so difficult to take off. I really cannot stand it. Like, regular makeup remover, forget it. I find it doesn't flake on me. Anybody like the Their Real by Benefit Mascara? It's not very voluminous, but it does separate nicely. You guys are not talking to me. What is going on? Like, there's only four of you, but you're not speaking to me. I feel like I'm, I'm just speaking to myself. How rude. i just kidding. i kidding. Anybody who knows me knows what a sarcastic biatch I am. I even take a metal lash comb usually in between coats and fan them out. I don't know. I think it's the OCD in me. But I find when I try to remove this Their Real Mascara, even using coconut oil, I used coconut oil last night and I let it sit there and soak in and all that other stuff, that I lose lashes. I lose it. Does anybody else have that problem with the they're real i like lancome lancome is, has my all-time favorite mascaras but that's it guys i'm gonna hold you closer so you guys can see the look this is the look right here like i said quite natural makeup geek eyeshadows my anastasia brow pencil no face makeup whatsoever i don't have i just used pore filler no foundation or anything like that mary luminizer highlighter Luminoso Blush, LipInc.com, lips in orange. But this is it, guys. This is the look. Super natural. Like I said, zero face makeup whatsoever. Well, foundation. And that's it for my tattoo appointment. So Christine Lee 314 on YouTube. You guys will see it. Um, I think I'm going to try and get it up tonight. So I love you guys. I will talk to you later. Bye. Bye.